What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be covering the MDT Pick Fed. Yes, the MDT Pick Fed. Everybody knows what that is, right? So getting into it guys, you guys know the last show that we updated or that we showed that we completed was the MDT Royal Rumble, the biggest show we've ever had. A lot of great feedback on it. I appreciate you guys watching it and tuning in and checking it out. It meant a lot to me and it meant a lot to everybody over here. If you guys have not seen it, obviously definitely go check that out because it was our best show. It's been probably the biggest show that we have done here so far and it's only going to go up from here. You know, every show from here on out is going to be, you know, that big and that, that big of a deal and you know we're going to put that much effort into it just like we have you know we've been trying to get better every single time that we have done a show and so the Royal Rumble has been sort of the epitome of that and you know just uh just you know the result of continuing to get better and work hard every single day towards that goal and you know using you know the first episode of Vindication as the benchmark and then working from that to the Royal Rumble is sort of insane when you look at the difference in the quality of the shows from the presentation to the posing to the match quality and all of that good jazz. But getting straight into it, guys, the update on the MDT Pick Fed is that I'm trying to get MDT Vindication up this week. That is my goal by the end of the week, maybe Thursday or Friday. And there is going to be some changes. I think that moving forward, I'm going to have a new process on how to do the shows. I think that, you know, since the, you know, the Royal Rumble was, I think, a month ago, just about, or just over a month ago. And I apologize for that, but I did have to take a mental break for my sanity. You know, we put a ton of effort into that show. It was consistent filming, consistent consistent editing for hours on end every single day and it took a grind on my body it took a grind on my mind and I think it was good for me to take that well needed break you know get my ideas together and everything even though the scripts and everything pretty much have been solid since the beginning two years ago up to this point um, I did want to take a mental break after the Royal Rumble to, you know, again, give me a good reset, make sure that I don't lose interest in everything. I loved filming that. I never burnt out when doing the Royal Rumble. Even afterwards, I was like, I could still, you know, do this, but I did not want to completely burn myself out. I didn't want to, you know, end up sacrificing myself and the show and the, you know, the funness and everything around it. Um, by filming so hard and editing so hard and go straight into Vindication. So I did want to take a little break there just for my sanity and get my creative thoughts together with Taylor slash Brad and Facewife and everybody involved with it to make sure that everything is great moving forward. So... The next show is MDT Vindication, episode number 13, and going into that show, guys, like I said, there are going to be some differences. There is going to be a new process on how we do our shows, and I think the best way to do this is going to be a less focus on the wrestling between the figures in the matchups that take place, so um, maybe I can actually do three matches per show this time and, you know, increase it, but it will not be a full matchup. I think what I'm going to do is change it to highlights of a match, maybe some small sequences in the matchups or just the highlights in general. I will keep the entrances. I think a, the, a, the, a part of the entrances is a big deal. You know, it continues for us to plug storyline and stuff like that. I really don't know how I'm going to commentate the little highlights, but we will figure that out. I think that me and Brad can figure that out and, you know, fix it and tweak it and make sure it's going to be, you know, good and still quality enough for you guys to watch. And you know what? If, if, I just think that. Th if we do it this way, it will lead to getting the shows out faster. Like I know that this this break has taken a while, and this this episode probably won't be as long as other episodes because of you know the highlights and stuff. But my focus is trying to focus more on the storyline aspect during the episode. So the episodes will be focused more on the backstage stuff and the interactions and the you know the backstage stuff and the the, the storyline progression instead of matches themselves because I think at the pay-per-views is when the matches matter the most. And so what I plan on doing is having your regular show, it'll still be presented in the same way. It'll still have its commercial breaks. It'll still have the intro. It'll still have all of the stuff that you guys know and love about the MDT pick fed but instead of having you know the uh, the the uh, the matches and the collar and elbow tie-ups and the and the 
all of the rest hold stuff in between and all of that jazz. Instead of filming all that and editing all that, I feel like it'll flow a lot smoother if I just do the highlights of the matches and then we can get the finish in there, have our celebrations or post-match, whatever. And I think that that will lead to having a, uh, a more consistent filming schedule because I won't have to worry about matches anymore. I can do all the, all the storyline stuff and then we can get to pay-per-views quicker, which will lead to getting um, all the shows out faster. So what I plan on doing is maybe after this episode of Vindication releases on Thursday or Friday, I may can turn around and release MDT Live episode 13 in around 8 to 12 days. I think I could do that and I think that it is possible if I only film backstage uh, segments and the, the storyline progression, like I said, and the highlights of matches. I really think I can do it. I think the thing that takes the longest with Vindication and MDT Live is the film filming the matches and if I can cut that down at all and you know a lot of people said that they like the way it used to be with the episodes this is the only way I think I can retain episodes and get shows out quicker and I think in the long run it'll be a lot better and I think that it will work out but I guess we can just test it with this first episode of Vindication if you guys hate it if you guys don't enjoy it and you're like you know what go back to full matches go back to the regular whatever I think that we could easily adjust it um, and it's going to be a work in progress regardless, like if, you know, people may hate it, people may not like it, and I actually hate change, I'm like one of the biggest uh, resistance to changes, I cannot stand changes, so it, it kind of stresses me out when things change, so I can understand if you guys don't like it when it first releases, but we'll have to just see how it goes, and the first episode of Vindication since the Royal Rumble will be our little, you know, test of that and uh, I'm gonna try like little highlights I don't know if you guys have seen any Instagram pages that do pick fetting or something but instead of doing you know full matches it's just like the highlights like the the big moves the reversals the finisher moves the signature moves any creative you know moves that take place in the matchup is what will be shown of the match and I think it'll allow us to do uh, just better it'll just I don't know I just think it'll be a lot better for everybody if we just show the highlights show the winner show what happens after the match before the match all the entrances I still think I don't think it'll cut down the show as much it may cut out maybe a total of maybe seven minutes or so of total action and that'll just be all that dead space that you get and the simulation style of our pick fed and our show all together but that's what i'm thinking it vindicate mdt vindication episode number 13 it will be mostly storyline driven that's what i'm trying to get out of the episodes because i think that that's what's most important about the episodes anyway like you guys know that when you watch a pay-per-view the match quality on a pay-per-view is much different you know we bring our all into those and i think that you know it really helps everything go along it helps you buy in when you know all the storylines and maybe we can get even deeper into the storylines in these episodes leading up to the pay-per-view i want to get to hell's gate as fast as possible so that we can get to my damn nation as fast as possible and guys when i say that uh, my damn nation is going to be epic it is going to be wrestlemania-esque it's going to be that good like i am leaving no stone unturned i know you guys talk about the production quality of other shows and the the behind the scenes and like what goes into making our pay-per-views but this is it's going to be like massive like when i say um i'm leaving no stone unturned i'm leaving no stone unturned like everything from the from the like the look of the stage to the the end of the show to the intro to the just everything about that show will be over the top it will be just magnificent it will be elaborate it will be very big and it will be wrestlemania s that's the whole point of it and uh it's going to be massive when we get there and that's i i'm just really excited to get there i really want to get there before the end of 2019 and i think the only way to get to my damn nation before the end of 2019 is going to be changing up the episodes and changing up this way that we film Vindication and MDT Live. I really think it's going to help us. I think it's the only way that we're going to make it to My Damn Nation because you guys know that um, the timetable between the episodes, I literally think that we get one to two episodes out every one to two months. So I think that that's... Now, I mean, that's pretty good for turnaround time because you got to think, I think most pick fetters get a pay-per-view up uh, once a month or maybe once every two months and some even longer than that. But we managed to get MDT Live and Vindication out um, depending on, you know, how hard you work and stuff like that. Uh, we usually get Vindication and MDT Live up within, both shows are usually up within a month, month and a half 
and uh, I think that's a pretty good turnaround time, but I know that this has been a long break since the Royal Rumble, but moving forward, I think we can get them out faster. If we change it up, we tweak it a little bit, and we, you know, just get better here, but uh, I hope you guys do understand. I hope you guys enjoy it, and we're just going to have to see once we, you know, finally see that episode of Vindication, and if I hate it, you know what, I'll probably change it myself, guys, because like I said, I don't like change, and I may hate it, and if I end up hating it, then I guess we won't do it anymore after Vindication episode 13, but we will just have to see how it goes, but I just want to get to Hell's Gate. And then after that, I want to get to My Damn Nation. And um, I think you guys are going to be really, really excited for the pay-per-view that follows My Damn Nation. I know we're a ways off from that, and we have a lot of shows to get through before we get there. But we already have the plans. We already have the match card. Like, I literally, me and Brad have everything flushed out from Hell's Gate every episode between now and My Damn Nation. And then we still have the pay We know what the pay-per-view will be after My Damn Nation. I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy it. And we try to uh, get creative. We try to change it up every single show. If you guys have noticed that uh, every show has been sort of like a different challenge and something new and fresh of an idea and everything uh, every single time. So we try to get better every show, and that's the whole point of it, and that's what we try to do. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little update on the Pick Fed, and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed you know everything that I've said here today. I really want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you, if you guys have never seen, you know, the 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 highlights of an Instagram pick fed page, maybe I can plug in, you know, what that looks like so you guys can kind of have ideas of what it's going to look like when we do this on MDT Vindication episode number 13, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I think action figure surgery, there's a new action figure surgery coming out tomorrow, so that'll be epic for you guys, but thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you think of this and uh, I would love to know what your thoughts are moving into MDT Vindication 13. And are you excited for Hell's Gate? Because I know I am. I got the logo graphics coming in soon. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to release those and we're going to get everything worked on. I think somebody, somebody legitimately caught, commented on my video the other day and said, can we see the arena for My Damn Nation? And I was like, well, that's, that's kind of impossible, Brad, because we have like a ton of shows left before MDT My Damn Nation. And uh, I still got to get a stage made and I still got to get... Uh, aprons made and I gotta get a lot of stuff done before that show but promise you this we will do an arena tour for that show and it's gonna be massive but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video thank you